what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video talking about the year 2018 kind of reflecting back talking about the state of my channel and kind of giving you guys a little bit of an update now i know at the time of uploading this video it's been about three weeks since my last video i haven't been posting on twitter i haven't been posting on instagram I've kind of just been missing in action for the past couple of weeks uh, and there's a lot that's gone into that I mean one obviously the holidays takes a lot out of you there's a lot of you know running around um, if you guys didn't know I do work in retail at the moment um, so this time of year was super crazy for work and I was working a ton of hours um, which is good for money but it's not very good for having free time uh, and the time that I did have outside of work I just wanted to relax relax um, but I've also been doing a lot of reflecting the past couple of weeks on a lot of different things primarily the state of my channel um, the state of Call of Duty the state of YouTube and a lot of different things now I want to start off with some really really some some really awesome things that I want to share um, the first one being that the year 2018 actually you know going through the year in terms of like my YouTube career I guess um, it felt like I was just stumbling through uploads like I just was not consistent and there was long gaps of time between uploads and it just was a complete mess um, and there's a couple of reasons for that but despite all of that um, I had 12 videos break a thousand views in uh, 2018 which is crazy because if you look at my channel from 2017 and prior uh, that was you know a thousand views that thousand view mark was really really rare um, there were only a couple of videos that actually hit that mark prior um, and so to have 12 videos hit uh, you know over a thousand and some of them hit um, 10,000 20,000 views was just absolutely insane so you know i just want to take this time to thank you guys so much for the support that you've shown me on these on the in, in this last year really um on these videos and i know that a lot of those videos pretty much all those videos honestly um the reason that they blew up is because i it was planned like i knew if i timed the upload right and i titled it right and i did the thumbnail right and um I, I just I talked about the right thing at the right time I just I knew I, I, I was setting myself up for success like I knew that it was gonna happen um, and a lot of those videos had to do with when black ops 4 first dropped I talked about some of the best weapons um, I talked about uh, modern warfare 2 remastered there was a lot of hype around modern warfare 2 around the summertime I believe um, or maybe a little before so there was a lot of hype around that and I really timed those uploads appropriately um, so I you know I, I, I it's really weird because you know in a year where I've had so many successful videos at least you know for a channel my size um, and the numbers that I do normally videos like that are are rare and they're hard to come by so i had 12 of them in one year which is crazy i also talked about fortnite a little bit which i think one of my videos um uh got a lot of traction because of that as well so it's just really weird that in a year where i felt so sporadic and chaotic and um you know just i i, I want to say uninspired right i think um it's no it's no secret by now to you guys i'm sure you've picked up um on my you know just by the fact that i'm so inconsistent with my uploads that i i've lost a lot of inspiration lately um and i kind of kind of that's probably why i kind of stumbled through 2018 and yet uh, for all intents and purposes, it was my best year on YouTube. I mean, it was, you know, by far the most successful in terms of views. Um, and, you know, I had a lot of sub growth. I hit 6,000 subscribers in 2018, which is crazy. Um, but 2018 was my fourth year on YouTube. Uh, November of 2018 marks four years because November 11th, 2014, I uploaded my first video. And it's crazy to think what's happened in the last four years. And even the last year, I moved uh i moved twice in the last year um i moved there i mean there was like a little in, in between um transition month that is the reason that i had to move twice but um yeah i just a lot has happened and in 2017 a lot happened too because i graduated college and i started a new job and everything um 
so like the past two years man have flown by like absolutely flown by um and especially this last year i cannot believe that we're you know a week into a week and a half into 2019 already it's absolutely nuts how time is flying but the point of this video uh and and what i've kind of been rambling about is that i wanted to thank you guys for you know sticking with me uh throughout these you know past four years especially the last year has been so sporadic and crazy and you know not that you guys have come to expect consistency of me because i've never been very consistent um but i want to thank you guys for the last year of support um and and really the last four years on this platform i mean just going back some of my earlier videos are really cringy um they're really you know uh, they're not well done and they're so you know just sporadic and they're about the most random topics ever i just you know what i used to do when i first made this channel is i it was a commentary channel um and uh whatever was on my mind at the time i would just record a commentary about it just whatever it was whether it was philosophy or you know police brutality or what just random stuff just like completely you know um like ideal like you know what i would want my ideal house to be like like just completely random commentaries that you know have absolutely no uh chance of of ending up in any search result ever like you know you could never really grow a channel with with uploads like that without a stroke of luck or something like that um so my earlier content was super cringy and super all over the place and you know there was even a period in uh I think 2015 where I was recording a lot of my videos in the car in my car when I you know I went to college and I had a roommate and like you know he was always there like he was just always in my room because we shared one room like that's just what it was like you know um and I just couldn't bring myself to record a video in front of him because he wasn't like he wasn't really a friend of mine you know like we didn't really have that many overlapping interests we just happened to live in the same room, you know, and like he was a great guy and I, you know, I'm friends with him on Facebook still, but like we don't talk, like we don't keep in touch. Um, so like we never, and we didn't like hang out outside of just living together, you know, we didn't have any classes together. So it was just weird. Like I wasn't going to turn on the camera and just start recording a YouTube video right in front of him. So in 2015, in order to stay consistent, I either had to just not record commentaries because he was always there or... I, you know, or I had to record in my car, which was the only place where I would have like some time to myself without there being people around. You know, I didn't want to record outside because that's just weird. I'd be walking around campus just talking to my phone. I don't know. I just couldn't bring myself to do that. So like, you know, I'm just like the journey of this YouTube channel has been so crazy, dude. It's been all over the place. Like, like I said, coming from, you know, 2014 I, I I started this channel with a PlayStation 4, an HD PVR, and uh, an, a laptop that would overheat all the time. I actually had to prop it up on cardboard, on um, these like thin cardboard boxes that I had um, to get it to uh, render a video completely. And the, the screen was broken too when I... I couldn't close my laptop because one hinge was broken and if I tried to open it with that hinge broken it would actually snap the other hinge and then the screen would be completely broken um, so I actually had a clamp on one of <laughs> this is so embarrassing that I'm even telling you this story my my computer was so bad it was so bad when I started this YouTube channel it was just a terrible computer um, and I had to re I had to render videos overnight because I like it took so many hours and the computer was just the fans were spinning like crazy and I was just praying that when I woke up in the morning the computer didn't overheat so that way I could upload the video because otherwise after I would have to literally wait a whole nother day because it took so many hours to render that I had to do it overnight otherwise I couldn't use my computer all day so yeah I, I just you know I just wanted to take a moment to reflect on this YouTube channel and everything that I've gone through just to you know upload uh to a channel where i don't make a lot of money off of this i don't really make it like i've spent more than i've made on this channel but like by far like by far i've spent more than i made um and which is interesting because i actually had a video my most popular video that slender man troll video that i made i had a comment the other day of somebody who said you know 
uh, I think it said like he said congrats on making $400 off of clickbait or something because he must have had like vid IQ or TubeBuddy or like something like that or like um or like he checked uh, social blade or something and, and I guess he thought I made $400 off of that video which I'm not gonna lie I may have made that much money off of that video um, but I mean my computer alone that I literally I hand built my computer here's a funny story I actually hand built my computer I bought all the pieces and assembled it myself because it was the only way that I could afford to get a computer good enough to do editing um, and not use that crummy laptop that I told you guys about before so I actually learned how to build my own computer because it was all I could afford um, to to get this channel up and running because I couldn't stay with that laptop forever it was just on its last legs uh, so yeah, um, so he, they were, you know, bashing me for, you know, making the money that I did off that video and I'm full transparency. I did make money off of that video. Um, for a while I was making between 20 and $60 a month just off of views from that one video. And that was for a lot of months in a row. So it may have been $400. I don't know. Actually, I don't actually know. Um, I wasn't keeping track, but the point is I've spent way more on this YouTube channel than I've made. Um, and I wanted to just take this time to reflect on my journey on YouTube um, and how much life has changed in these last four years. I mean, these were probably, you know, the, the four most important years of my, like, growth as a person, right? I mean, your early 20s, you know, I started this channel when I was 20 um, or 19. I don't even, I think I had just turned 20 or something. I don't know. But regardless, uh, it's, it's just actually crazy to think about everything that I've gone through just to keep this channel consistent. Um, relatively you know uploading at least once a month if not more um, and you know reflecting on 2018 as well and the successes that I've had in 2018 and now I want to talk about moving forward and what I'm gonna be doing uh, in the future um, obviously I've been inconsistent lately I'm not gonna lie I have been um, that computer that I hand built is not really cutting it anymore it's you know I've plateaued in, in terms of like the quality of video that I can make I'm I'm having some some storage issues with the computer um, I I can't use the computer when I'm rendering videos uh, it's just it's a it's it's just not I can't I can't make 4k videos I can't make 60 frame per second videos and you know the quality of the webcam I I don't think is good enough anymore so it's time for another upgrade um, and also, I've been... Uh, well, let me finish that thought. So, I'm getting a MacBook Pro uh, within the next couple of... I'm probably going to order it tomorrow, and I should be getting it within a week or two, because I'm going to customize it. I'm going to get a 13-inch MacBook Pro. I'm going to customize... I'm going to get the better processor, 16 gigs of RAM, everything. Um, and I'll, I'll have... Final Cut Pro on there, which I'll have to learn, but I've seen how it works. I'm I'm familiar with a couple of different um, video editing pieces of software, so I should be you know I should be okay with using it. I'm sure it will only take it'll only take a little bit for me to get used to that. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna keep my current computer. I'm gonna have a MacBook Pro. Um, and that's gonna unlock a lot of doors for me to use my phone uh, to record videos because if you guys don't know it's kind of a pain to get iPhone videos into uh, into Sony Vegas which is what I use for my gameplay so that's gonna open up doors for that which should solve the webcam issue um, but I haven't really been into gaming lately and I just have to come to terms with that uh, you know the other day I beat breath of the wild for the first time which that game's been out for like two years now which is absolutely crazy like I can't believe that but um yeah so I beat breath of the wild but beyond that I haven't been playing black ops 4 I haven't been playing anything I haven't been playing any games I played uh, I tried to get into the new Pokemon game I didn't like it I tried to get into Smash Bros the new Smash Bros I didn't really like that uh, it, and like they're not bad games I just I can't bring myself to get into them um, I bought a brand new scuff controller and I used it like one time I bought a brand new Turtle Beach headset that I used like once look it's right here I, I brought I this I bought this brand oh my god I hit myself in the face I bought the uh, the stealth 700s or whatever and I use them maybe a couple days like I just can't get into gaming and I don't know why uh, 
I think a big part of it has to do with um, just the point I'm at in my life, right? Where I don't feel like I have the time to play video games. Like, I, I have like I have life goals, and they're not clearly defined yet, which is a problem. But I also know that uh, playing video games for hours at a time does not fit into what I want to do with my life unless it's making me a living, right? Like, obviously, if it's my job, then naturally I'll do it. And, you know, one of the things when I made this channel four years ago, I was thinking, like, it would be so cool if I could have a gaming channel and actually make a living off of it. Uh, and it's been four years, and that hasn't happened. Like, like I said, I've spent more on this channel than I've made, um, and there, I by no means can I live off of this. And I just don't see... If I dedicated more time to making gaming content, I just don't see it taking off, because it's so it's so saturated and I would have to really have my heart into it and I just don't I just can't play video games for hours at a time uh, in order to you know I just don't enjoy it I don't know like when I'm playing when I'm playing video games I'm just like I just feel like I'm wasting time I just feel like I'm wasting time that I could be doing something else I could be building another project you know I hate I'm the type of person that I am I hate not having something to work on in terms of like a little pet project or like a little like a hobby or you know I built so many like websites and like everything it's it's crazy but I just like I can't stick to one thing um, which is definitely you know a, a, a blessing and a curse for me but um yeah it, man I'm gonna hate editing this video anyway the point is uh, I just haven't been into gaming lately. I just, I really haven't. Um, any any footage that you've seen over the past few weeks, any any videos I've uploaded, um, that's all back backlog from when Black Ops 4 came out. I just recorded every game, every game I played. I grinded the game for like a week or two, and every game I just recorded. And then I just have footage now from Black Ops 4. So, you know, I. I'm just not into gaming right now and it's frustrating because for the longest time like that was one of the things that defined me as a person like I was a gamer you know like like I like not just like you know I was really a gamer like I was really about it uh, and lately I just don't feel it you know mainly because I just get that feeling like I I just feel like I'm wasting my time you know like I've spent so many years playing Call of Duty that like if I jump on black ops 4 right now i just feel like i'm wasting my time and i mean there's a lot of reasons for that um one my youtube channel it's four years old and i don't make a living off of it and you know i'm not saying that i'm gonna quit youtube because i'm not gonna quit youtube so just relax i'm not doing it just for the money obviously if i were doing it just for the money i wouldn't have made it four years let me tell you that um but uh you know without there being that in like if it were my job that's one thing i would play a lot more video games and i would feel better about it because like i would jump on and be like okay yeah like i gotta we gotta make videos we gotta do this in my job but it's not uh and i don't it's i feel like it's far away from being my job i feel like i'm far from that goal um and i'm not passionate about it in in terms of like i don't love playing video games right now it's just <clears throat> I like I said I, I, I I'm kind of just you know rambling at this point um, you know I just I don't know it just doesn't feel like that I'm really contributing to anything positive when I'm playing Call of Duty uh, I've done it so much in my life and it hasn't really brought me you know any closer to my goals other than you know I've had a YouTube channel for four years which is great um, but who knows, you know, I, I'm not, I don't want to rule anything out. I don't want to say that I'm never, you know, that I'm going to quit Call of Duty because I'm not. Um, I don't want to say that I'm going to not upload gameplay ever again because I'm not. Obviously, this is gameplay. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't know what's next for this channel. Um, but it's been gaming this whole time and I don't really game anymore. I don't like gaming. It, you know. I feel like the only way to be really relevant in gaming right now is if you're really good at whatever you're playing, right? Like top tier Call of Duty players, top tier Fortnite players, top tier Overwatch, League of Legends, whatever it is, you know, you gotta, there's so much competition now, like more than ever, there's more competition than ever um, on YouTube as a gamer. And 
you know, unless you love gaming so much that you can play hours a day, you're not going to get good enough to do that. And I don't, not only do I not really even have time to do that, I don't know if I'm that, like, I've never been an ex, I've never been the best gamer I know. Like, yeah, I'm better at Call of Duty than, than a lot of my friends, but I'm definitely not one of the best Call of Duty players. Like, I would never last on a competitive team. Uh, it's just not even close. So... You know, I'm not even close to being an incredible player, um, and I don't feel like I'm close to having a gaming channel that will provide me a living. Uh, and those two things make it very hard for me to game, because I don't see a future in it, at least at this point. Um, if I had an income doing something where I had more time freedom, then maybe I would just have free time and I could just play games and then bam, I'm back. But uh, until then, I don't know what I'm going to do with this channel. So I'm buying a MacBook Pro. I'm going to be able to record high quality videos on my phone. Um, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll bring back commentary videos without the gameplay. Um, because honestly, I'm wondering at this point if my growth on YouTube would be larger if I didn't focus on just gaming. Um, you know, where like if I really, if I really just was a YouTuber, instead of a gaming YouTuber, I was just a YouTuber. And then anything that I did would have the potential for mass appeal. Um, which isn't the case when you're a gamer, because you're really just, not that there's a shortage of gamers, but, you know, you get what I'm saying. You know, if, if I want to make a commentary about a random topic, there's no reason to have Call of Duty in front of it. It just, it just, fewer people are going to find it, uh, entertaining, or, the, like, fewer people are going to click on it, because they're going to be like, oh, that's a gaming video. Or they'll click on it and be like, what? There's Call of Duty here. I came for the title. Uh, and then they leave you know like my my last video about t-series youtube i didn't even want to put call of duty on there i just couldn't record the freaking you know i couldn't use my phone and get like a good quality you know um a good quality commentary out of it because i just i was running into technical problems and i didn't have enough time to figure it out so i just was like you know what i'll change my video format later when i when i have a different computer so that is going to be soon um so yeah i took a really long time this is a long video and i doubt any of you are going to make it to the end but if you do i want you to comment down below with a with a microphone emoji because i've been talking into this microphone the whole time and um yeah i don't know i definitely rambled this video was really more for me i guess um just to kind of vent about my channel and my current situation with youtube plus i also wanted to give you guys an update wish you a happy new year obviously i haven't talked to you guys since before christmas so have merry christmas merry belated christmas um or hanukkah or whatever you whatever your holiday is i hope it was good um So who knows, 2019 might be the year that I branch out into new things and I do content beyond gaming uh, because I think it's kind of run its course for me. I think, you know, until, until I somehow have time freedom and I can just do whatever I want, uh, gaming just really, it's just not there for me, at least not right now. Um, you know, maybe that passion will come back in the next couple months or whatever who knows obviously you guys all know but um uh until then uh we might be seeing a little bit of a change here on the channel because if i don't change then it's over right like if i don't adapt then then i just stop playing games and then i stop recording and then you never hear from me again so i have to change so we have to do something new so let's do it let's jump into 2019 optimistic about whatever my content is gonna be and hopefully whatever it is it'll be entertaining and it'll be a higher production quality because i'll have better equipment and thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> i will talk to you guys again soon peace